this video was published by Fox News and it went viral. This is an Alabama mother uh, realizing that the American dream has long been dead. This got a lot of action online. And so let's take a look. I'm feeling helpless. I am so tired of feeling helpless as a parent. Yes, my kids are grown adults. My oldest is 28, my youngest is 25. And I thought by teaching them what I learned, which is you work hard, you get a good job, you're gonna get the things in life that you need, right? Worked for me, why wouldn't it work for them? Because it doesn't. Because the world has changed, all right? And now I feel like I see them struggling. And before my generation comes at me, yes, I understand struggling is a part of life. We all struggled. But there's a difference between struggling and drowning. I walked 15 miles to school in the snow with no <laughs> shoes. What do you mean that you want more than $8 an hour? Do you know I walked 15 miles to school in no shoes and you want to get paid more than nine fifty an hour? There were Go eight on. of us. Living in a box <laughs> at the bottom of a well, right. and every day we had to walk 25 miles, and then they'd hit you in the head with a shovel when you got there. You ever seen that, that, was that, one sketch? I... <laughs> that flying circus sketch? Uh, yeah, I did see the flying circus sketch you were talking about. This made me think of the Norm MacDonald joke about the Sears catalog, which was great. He says, you know, my generation, we used to jerk off to the Sears catalog. My parents' generation, they had to walk all the way to Sears and fucking jerk off in the Sears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's, let's let her keep going. All right. So we struggled and it was tough. But you know what? We made it. We knew there was a light at the end of the tunnel with our struggle. It seems like kids today, no matter how much they struggle, they just get further and further down the water into the drowning point. All right. When I was their age, I was making less than $10 an hour and I could afford to live on my own. Now you have to be making six figure salary to get a decent, tiny little place to live. So what the f is going on and how do we help them as parents? I told my son, all you have to do is work hard, go to college or join the military like I did. Um, he went to college, got his degree, got a full time job. He moved back in with me right when he graduated from college because he said, hey, mom, as soon as I get a job, which was within two weeks of him getting out of college. Um, he didn't join the military, though, did he? It doesn't sound like he joined the military. That's his problem, right? Well, well, and also then you get the health care for life. That's the only way you get universal health care in America. You got to join the military. Got to join the military. Maybe that's where he went wrong. Maybe take me two months and I'll save up enough money for me to move out. OK, cool. It's been 10 months. He has saved almost every dime and still can't afford to live. Why are one bedroom studio apartments almost $2,000 a month? Why? Because we the learn, people who own is, them want to maximize their profit and they can make more money leaving it vacant for a few months until they find a sucker who will give them the money uh, than they would by renting it out to whoever can afford it at a lower rate. Almost $2,000 a month. It's called wealth extraction. Why? Like, need to I, read some I theory, just don't Karen. Get it. So I don't even think that there's <laughs> even classes anymore. There used to be. Uh, you know, upper class, middle class, lower class. It's literally turning into the ultra wealthy and then everybody else is just poor. Yeah. Exactly. Like, all right. Yeah, so look, yeah. I called I, her a Karen there and I was joking, but in all seriousness, one of the things that I thought was really encouraging about this clip is that we saw very little of that seriously. Like if, if a white, you know, Alabama woman who, you know, just is mathematically likely to be a Republican voter. I'm not saying she is obviously, I don't want to put that on her. I don't know that. Yeah, she might not. Um, but she, yeah, she might not be. But I'm just saying, like, a few years ago, you know, and she seems middle class, you know, I mean, the car seems nice enough, right. right? She says she owned the home. She got the American dream herself, and she's trying to teach her kid how to get it for himself, and it's not working. Um, to have this, like, white Southern woman who is, you know, like I said, the the likely avatar of, like, the is white she, woman she Trump Southern? Voter. Sounds, sounds... Yeah, she's from Alabama, it said. On the oh, thing. she's Alabama? You know, if, if that had surfaced a few years ago, you would have a lot of people picking on her for being just that. They'd focus on who she is demographically and, oh, look at this. You know, you're complaining about this. This is, you know, white privilege, this and that. And, um, you know, one of the themes that we'll talk about on the show a little bit, you know, later, and one of the themes we touch upon a lot is this sort of inevitable clash of sort of identity politics and postmodernism with reality. And so here you have a lot less of a pile on on this woman um, because everybody can connect with what she's saying. Right. And the fusion of economics with this so-called family values agenda that conservatives often push 
you know, that's what's also really interesting in this video. She's like, OK, because things are economically so impossible where I have my kid is living uh, for free at home for 10 months and living frugally and still not able to move out um, at a certain point those economic hardships make it impossible to uphold the kind of family values that I want to uphold because I'm trying to teach my kid to work hard and do the right, right. thing. And he's doing right. it. And it's not working. Right? right. So how do we right. keep social cohesion? How do we keep family cohesion? How do we actually promote a family values program when the lessons we're teaching them aren't working anymore because rich people are hoarding all the money. And so that was what was really interesting about that clip. Uh, you know, when I see this, when I see things like this, it, it it always reminds me, you know, The Simpsons has been on the air for so long that it's been on the air through the collapse of the American dream. So Homer Simpson, the core joke, the core premise was that America was so rich that a, 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 a you know, borderline mentally defective guy like Homer Simpson could live in a house like right. this and drive a car that uh, there was a whole episode where a guy got hired to the i think got hired to the nuclear power plant and this guy was like a really hard working guy and it drove him crazy that homer simpson was this incredibly just incompetent stupid guy and he had as much as he had that he was able to support a middle class life with absolutely no qualifications or skills I'm Homer Simpson and I just live in a house, right? The guy goes crazy about it. And you, if you watch that today, it would be so incredibly unrelatable and dated, right? Like that episode would make absolutely no sense. Right, today. exactly. Homer Simpson would be working three jobs, have no wife, have no, <laughs> or if he had had them, she would have left him long ago. Uh, well, all of for, those 80s, 90s era sitcoms where these, you know, I don't know, working class yeah, people married have with these children. big houses. They got a right. backyard. They got a fence. I mean, now forget it, man. Forget it. You can't. You yeah, cannot live that kind of life on less than 150 grand a year now. Even a six figure salary won't cut it. Um, right. in most places for that for that kind of thing. Um, right. and, and so and yeah, she's, I mean, she's old enough. She got hers. She probably owns her house, and she's got it mostly paid off now. And uh, yeah, how can you tell a kid today? Uh, you can, you can do that too. You just have to work your way up. Where, how, how are they right. supposed to do that? Please clap. 